Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The honorable and dearest judges, ladies and gentlemen, we already know that Indonesia is an archipelago country. We have the second lar largest coastline in the world that reach up to 95,181 kilometers or about five times back and forth from Indonesia to Mecca, accommodating 30.3 million of mangrove forests. On this fine occasion, I, Hamid Nur Aulia, representative of Sembo University of Technology for Pilma Press 2023, would like to share the importance, the treat, and the solution for the current status of our mangrove forest. Mangrove conservation as a key part toward the assessment of sustainable development goals number 14 on life below water. Why is, the, why is this goal important, especially for Indonesia? Stated by the Ministry of Environment and Forestry in 2021, Indonesia have mangrove forests approximately 3.3 million hectares. However, in the last three decades, more than 50% of the mangrove forest area has been lost and damaged, most of which are caused by human activity, mainly due to the land conversion for aquaculture, which has harmed the mangrove ecosystem. Speaking of mangrove forests, there are a lot of benefits. Start from preventing seawater intrusion, abrasion, and erosion. Natural filter being a home for several types of animals, even contribute to reduce world carbon emission. For example, mangrove forests can absorb 1,000 tons of carbon per hectare, which is three times more than tropical forests whereas carbon gas emission is one of the causes of global climate change. That is why recovering mangrove forests is crucial in fighting climate change. In addition, on the islands of Bali and Nusa Tenggara, the area of mangrove forests only reached 34,000 hectares and it is the area with the lowest mangrove forest area in Indonesia. Because of that, the implementation of SDGs point focused on the West Nusa Tenggara region. Based on current data, in the Ministry of Maritime Affairs and Fisheries for the West Nusa Tenggara region, 1,800 from 3,400 hectares of mangrove forests are damaged due to land conversion to ponds and settlements. So, the question now is what we can do to prevent more loss of mangrove forests. To protect marine ecosystem, first and foremost, we need the regulation from the government regarding mangrove forest conservation program in coastal area that are aligned with circular economic system for coastal residents. For example, mangrove conservation is aligned with ecotourism coastal area or applying a system of carbon investment. Secondly, applying the integrated system of conservation with rhizosphere microbes in mangrove to boost the growth regulator so that mangrove can grow faster. Besides, it is also required to have an integrated monitoring system to check the health of mangroves. Last but not least, we can educate, educate local residents, especially in local coastal area, about the importance of protecting mangrove ecosystem, which in practice requires collaboration with local environment community, educational institution, and local government. I know. This is not an easy job, but I strongly believe that the collaboration can make a better contribution to SDGs number 14 as well as to make our earth to be a better place to live. That's all for me. Thank you.